What's up, YouTube? Sharp and Xoft here coming at you guys with a brand new Star Wars Battlefront video. And today, I'm super excited because I'm going to be playing for you guys the brand new Star Wars Battlefront Rogue One X-Wing Pilot VR mission that's exclusive to the PlayStation VR. Now, I know it's been quite a while since I made a Battlefront video. For that, I apologize. I had a lot of internet issues that kind of impeded that, but they are ironed out now, and I'll be bringing you guys a lot more Star Wars Battlefront coverage and Star Wars game coverage along with Friday the 13th, the game. So no matter what you're looking for, it's all going to be found right here at Charmin X Off Gaming. But guys, hope you all enjoyed that new logo too for the comeback. That was made by my good friend Matt over at Bold Line Design. Does awesome work. His link's down in my description box below. So if you're looking for logo work, go ahead and check him out. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this VR mission. I haven't played it before, so this is going to be a brand new experience, but I am dying to jump into an X-Wing and just live my dream right here, guys. So let's go ahead and have some fun with this. Star Wars in VR, guys. Look at the AT AT. They need to do like the full game like this. this is, oh my god, he's so huge. <laughs> I can just sit here and watch him walk around. Wow. That is crazy impressive. Alright, let's do this, guys. Oh my god, that was so cool. I'm impressed. Right? How do you play the X Wing? Oh my god, look. Okay, my head is the the cursor here. I don't know what you do, but let's do it. <laughs> What's up, little dude? <laughs> Check him out. I think I probably get to just like, you know, go around the whole ship here. Look at this. I can. I can just go ahead and look around the X-Wing. That's awesome. The size of this thing. Man, you guys would have to experience this for yourself. But the size of this X-Wing looks freaking huge. It really does. Wow. Some cool stuff, guys. Look at that bad boy. Oh, I'm loving it. Oh, I'm loving it. Makes me wonder how Battlefront 2 is going to be. Oh, this is so awesome. Let's go ahead. Oh, what? Look at that cockpit. Man, you guys can't see this, but like right here where my hand is, I feel like I'm touching the glass to the X-Wing. That's how close it is to my face in VR. This looks awesome. Wow. I'm excited, guys. Look at the size of this cockpit. I'm just going to come here in VR and just to look around at the X-Wing like all the time. I can't help it. Holy crap, look at the foot pedals! <laughs> look at the yoke! Oh my god! This is the coolest thing. Look, look at this! Oh my god. Can I literally push like any button? You're kidding me right now. This is amazing, guys! <laughs> I kind of feel a little claustrophobic in here. Like, this glass is, like, right there. Like, oh. It's telling me. I know. Look here. Look here. But I don't know how to push this. Just out of curiosity. Aha. Uh -huh. Alright. This is intense. I think that's the female. I think that's the male. Alright, I think my flight controls are fine. Yeah, down should be up for me. Let's just do this, guys. I can't believe this right now. Hold. Oh my god. Oh. 
I wonder how much I'm gonna get blown up in this. Are you picking anything up, Bluetooth? What? Oh yes, my god! I got the rendezvous coordinates. Look at this! Yes, I'm sure I entered them correctly. <laughs> I don't like this. Where are they? Standing by. What took you all so long? Guess the rookie punched the button a little early. Cut the oh, wow. All X Wings accounted for, Admiral. Copy that, Red Leader. Stay alert. Red Flight, take up an escort pattern around the fleet. Stay close. So, what happened back there, rookie? I guess I did punch the button a little early. Hey, don't sweat it. This is a blue milk run. My first time out, I didn't know an S foil from a nose cone. You're already in better shape than that. <laughs> Just keep it together. Thanks. I'll be fine. Good. Because this mission could still get interesting. Look at that. Red Flight, we're receiving a priority transmission from the Wobani system. We're patching it through. <laughs> Calling all Rebel Alliance vessels. This is K2SO on behalf of Extraction Team Bravo. We have encountered a minor technical setback. We have taken refuge in an asteroid field and require time to patch up our systems. Assistance is most welcome. Immediate assistance. Any assistance, really. We are transmitting coordinates. Did I mention immediate? Did you copy that, Red Leader? We all heard it, Admiral. Wow. Red Flight, prepare to receive coordinates. That is one of General Draven's ships. That means it has enormous significance to the Rebellion, but... We can't risk exposing our fleet. I only need one flight, and we have to stay nimble. More than four ships, things get crowded. Even if you make it out alive, you have no idea what's waiting for you on the other side. We all knew the risks when we signed up to fight for the Rebellion, Admiral. And sir, neither of us has time to argue the point. You aren't gonna take no for an answer, are you, Sam? No, sir, I'm not. Red 2, Red 3, Red 4, prepare to make the jump to hyperspace. Oh my god, are we really gonna jump to hyperspace? Are you ready for this, kid? Sure. We can handle this, right? When you're waging a war against the Empire, this happens almost every day. Report in when you make contact with Bravo team. And may the Force be with you. See you soon, Admiral. Red flight, on my mark. Three, two, one, mark. What? <laughs> This is crazy! Oh my god, you guys don't even know this feeling right now. Oh, what? Oh Alright, people, god. here we go. Lock S foils in attack position. So, uh, what's the plan with these asteroids? Blast the small ones. Okay, and what about the big ones? Try not to get in their way, and keep your eyes open for that U wing. Roger that. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Having fun there? What? Red 4, you've got a hot mic. Oh. Uh, right. Sorry. This is pretty cool. You know, Rook, I have to say, you got quite a knack for pressing buttons at the wrong time. Maybe you should... Dory, watch it! Ah! Oh, wow! Red 2, what did I say to do with this small ass? Don't even start. D6, looks like we're trailing smoke. Can you start sucker. patching us up? Guys, this is crazy. Imminent collision ahead. Watch out! Ooh, oh my god, that's crazy feeling! Heads up. Things are getting a little tight up ahead. I see it, Red 3. Divert power to engines. This is going to call for some fancy flying. Oh, wow. Nice moves, rookie. Hey, what'd I tell you? No sweat. I almost uh, didn't see that. Make sure we didn't get clipped back there, Lou 2. It showed right there on my dash. I don't know if you guys saw it. For me, a triangle. And I'm looking so much at all these asteroids and stuff and just enjoying the view that I almost didn't see that to hit that boost. Ha <laughs> ha! 
this is like the coolest thing Leader, ever. I have eyes on the U wing. Copy that, Red Three. Opening comms. This is Bravo One. Are you listening out there? We read you, Bravo One. What's the situation? My name is K2SO. I am authorized to represent this vessel. We have encountered a minor technical we setback. Got the oh! We got My the SOS. K2SO. Don't do that. What have you got on board and what do you need from us? This vessel. We have encountered a minor technical setback. We have a priority one. Person of interest that we must deliver safely back to Yavin 4. Our navigation computer is down and our wings are locked in fighting position. Hyperspace will be impossible until they are repaired. What can we do? Keeping us alive would be helpful. We can do that. Only petty criminals get sent to Wolfani. No one from that sludge hole could possibly be that important. Don't let your guard down. No chance of that. Admiral, this is Red Leader. Extraction Team Bravo is still in one piece, but the Empire could arrive any minute. I'm requesting support and offload for the extraction team if it becomes necessary. Good news, Red Leader. Base One is sending the blockade runner Vigilant to help you with the recovery effort. Looks like your instincts were right on this one. K2SO, help is on the way. I'm sending a set of coordinates. You should be able to make it on sublight engines. We'll stay close. Thank you. Glad to be of service. Red Flight, proceed to the rendezvous. Roger that. Not so, too close, though. I clipped them. Happens almost every day, huh? Ah, you know, every day, more or less. Just stay close to that U-wing and remain in attack position. Well, I'm close. I just don't want to be too close. I clipped them last time. <laughs> uh -oh. Alive. Tie fighters incoming. We need assistance from you. Like you said, you will hold them off. Get to the rendezvous. Red flight, focus on those ties. Don't let them touch that U-wing. Roger that. Roger that. On it, Red Leader. Great shot! Where's he at? There he is. Oh, he's asteroids. Got ya. Wow, I'm rusty with this PlayStation controller. How many freaking TIE Fighters did they bring it in here? No. Woo! Great shot! This is pretty intense. This is the Corvette Vigilant calling Rebel Forces. So we need a lift. This is K2SO of Extraction Team Bravo. We would appreciate an immediate transfer to the marginally improved safety of your craft. Come again, Bravo One? Vigilant Red Flight here. Our friend needs you to pick him up. He's a little unfiltered. Roger that, Red Leader. Bravo One, head on over for immediate docking position. Woo! Oh my god! Bravo team, this is Red Leader. Take evasive action, we'll cover you. Negative red flight, we're under attack. Oh, what? Bravo team, come in. Bravo team is caught in a tractor beam. Their communications are jammed. I'm hit. Losing. Oh, my God. Losing engine power. I've got more TIE fighters approaching. Mark 216. How bad is it, Lou? Think you can patch it up? Just give it your best shot, buddy. But make it fast. Three more fighters coming in. We've got to get back in there. How's it coming, Lou? Lou, you did it! This is Red 4, back at full power. Glad to hear it, Red 4. 
Red Flight, accelerate to attack speed. We're staying? We've still got a job to do, Red 2. Nice shot, Red 4. Oh! I think a TIE fighter done crashed into me. I got you. Nice shot. Thanks, kid. I owe you one. Anytime. Let's hope that doesn't happen every day. I'm with you there. Bravo team, status update? Evidently, this Imperial Star Destroyer has not yet run out of Imperial TIE fighters. Right. Anything else? We have nearly completed our repairs. Stand by for further instructions. Oh, unless we all die before then. In which case, no further instructions will arrive. Right. Those turbo lasers will tear that Ewing apart before they can even make the jump to hyperspace. Concentrate fire on the Star Destroyer's turbo lasers. On it, Red Leader. Wow! You say concentrate fire in the Star Destroyer's turbo lasers? Get myself turned around without getting blown up. That's what I need to do. Woo! My sensors show you heading away from the battle. What's your status? I'm not trying to. Clear, Red Leader. Heading back now. All right. Red Four, I admire you trying to take that thing on yourself, but let's focus on the Bravo team to Red Flight. We have completed our repairs and are ready to present an attack strategy. It is unlikely we will succeed. Go ahead on that bad plan, Bravo. We need you to disable the Star Destroyer's targeting array. Let me confirm. You want a handful of X-Wings to directly attack a Star Destroyer? You are not directly attacking the Star Destroyer. You are attacking the Star Destroyer's targeting array. Oh, great. Well, in that case... The targeting array should be located above the bridge section. So your pilots must get close enough to use their proton torpedoes. A direct hit will momentarily disable the Star Destroyer's tractor beam, allowing us a brief window to escape. Wait, let me guess what comes next. Then we run like hell. Correct. Whoops. That really is a terrible plan. Correct. <laughs> I love it. Roger that. Okay, red flight, this is it. Begin an attack run on their tar- <laughs> Got, Got it! it. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! What I got wrecked into! Targeting Targeting array is down. Who's the rookie now, huh? Nice job, Red Four. The 
plan has worked. We are free from the tractor beam. All right, team, this is it. Once that Ewing is clear, we can all go home. Sounds like a good plan to me. Buckle up, kid! <laughs> This is intense, guys. Woo! This is nuts. Red flight, report in. Red two, standing by. Red 3, standing by. Red 4, standing by. Red Flight on station and all <laughs> X-Wings accounted for, Admiral. Welcome back, Red Flight, and good work. The Alliance thanks you. Bravo team to Red Flight, we're departing for Base 1. We thank you for the prompt service in rescuing our rescue mission. All in a day's work, Bravo. I hope that passenger you're carrying is worth it. I hope she is too. Good luck. There's no such thing. I would love to meet the person who calibrated that droid's language module. So, that Red 4, what did you think awesome. of your first real mission? It would have been easier if I didn't have to spend half of it saving your skin. <laughs> Maybe you did learn a thing or two after all, rookie. Red flight, form up. We're heading out. That was awesome. I don't know if there's any more or not, but man, that was awesome. Let's see. What's next, ma'am? A medal would be nice. But let me guess, another fouled up mission we're gonna have to rescue with our unrivaled piloting skills. Let's find out. Prepare to make the jump to hyperspace on my mark. Three. Two, one, mark. Let's do this. <laughs> Mission successful. Four lives used, one turret disabled. Sixty-two Tie Fighters defeated. Wow. Only got to one star, but that's all right. That was my first time ever playing it. I'm definitely going to be playing a lot more of this. Didn't do too bad though. Look at that. I really didn't have 62 ties destroyed. I don't even, it doesn't recall that. It didn't feel like that. But man, guys, that was completely unbelievable. I absolutely think it was awesome. Loved every second of it. Check it out. We are back here looking at the X Wing. And I don't know if you guys can hear this. But it's actually got this aspect of an echo. I can hear myself right now echoing. I, I literally can. I can just I can hear myself echoing as we're in this particular room. So it gives it that aspect of if we're inside of a hangar, you know, that, that feeling. So let's go just hop back inside the echo. Look at that console again and just admire it. Man, it's awesome. Pushing buttons. Probably the coolest thing ever. If you guys have a PlayStation VR and you have not played the X Wing mission, you need to do it. I've never experienced anything like that. I think it's completely awesome. And anyway, guys, I hope you all enjoyed the video and I hope it helped you out. And if it did, please feel free to go ahead and slap that like button down below and don't forget to subscribe to join the Charminati today. And you guys are more than welcome to go ahead and comment below and follow me on Twitter to stay up to date with all my YouTube videos. I'm Charmin X Often. As always, thanks for watching and y'all come back now, you hear? Yeah.